Stan, y'all, I'm back today talking about these Crayola Project Metallic Markers. Um, I picked these up about a month or two ago. Didn't get a chance to swatch them. I haven't had a chance to make a swatch sheet, but we're going to swatch these so I can put these away. Um, so these are the Crayola Project Metallic Markers I paid. Um, so these are designed for a variety of projects and assignments. Um, this is from the Crayola project line, which includes the right tools to make signs, posters, or science fair presentations shine. So you have eight markers in here. Go and go. Is that Ingo or Ingot? Well, we'll leave it alone. Copper mine, pink blings, purple steel, um, cobalt blue, green machine, black iron, and slick silver. So... I know these have a different tip than Crayola's regular broad line markers, but I don't know what else is different about them. So let's open them up. So let's put them in order they are in the on the box. Purple steel, cobalt blue, ring machine. Okay. Alright, so my light is changing a lot. The sun is moving. All right, so let's take a look at the first one. Um, so it's a very slim barrel. Um, it's slimmer than a broad line marker. It's just a basic felt tip. Um, definitely not broad lined. Um, the barrels are kind of short. Um, so I'm not sure how that'll feel on the hands. I think you're probably using these more for effect versus like coloring or writing a lot of wording. It's probably just details. So let me get my pad out and we'll swatch them out and see what they feel like. So first we have go and got. So yes, these are a stiffer tip marker. Um, my light is gonna keep changing because the sun is moving. I'm not seeing sparkles per se, even though there's like sparkles on the barrel, I don't see that. Um, I'm not really seeing any kind of metallic here, but it could be that I'm on white paper, but it doesn't say better for white paper, I mean, dark paper or anything like that, but I'm not really getting any sheen from these. Let's see, cobalt blue um so right now I'm feeling a little unenthused by them maybe in the camera you're picking up a little more sheen but I'm not really getting anything from these like maybe sheen on the gold and and the green machine Maybe a little on that cobalt blue. And of course on this slick silver, there's some sheen. So, at first glance, I'm not really seeing metallic. Um, 
I'm going to take out the light a little bit. I think I may need to get some darker paper. Just to be sure. Um, I'm almost at the end of this book. So why don't I just walk right on the back of the cover. Let's try that. So let me swatch these really quick on the black to see if there's a difference. Okay, so I think that answered our question about what these are made for. So on that black background, now you're seeing that metallic pop up. Um, I would not use these on white paper at all. Um, that is very different than what it showed up as on the white paper. Um, yeah, I would not use these on white paper. Let me flip back. So there again, you have your, it's on white paper, you know, white background, and then that's on the black background. Um, on, on no white paper, they just look blah. And on the black, they really pop. I would save these to use on black backgrounds. Um, I'm just looking, I'm like, I, there's nothing here that says use on darker paper. It just says design for signs, posters and science fairs. Um, yeah, I, I would use these on darker backgrounds. Um, do I think they were worth, I think I paid $8 a change or $5 a change? I've inserted it. I I would say um, I like my other metallic markers better. Um, I'm trying to think of what they're called right now. I want to say they're my Bic markers. Are they Bic? But I, I, I have metallic markers I like better than this. Um, yeah, even like that black iron turns into like gray on a black background. I I don't see these using these for more than like black paper, which could be really interesting. Like especially if you gave them to a kid and they wanted to do something different on black paper and teach them how they can color on black paper with the right equipment. Um, yeah. Definitely not on white paper. They're not doing anything for me on white paper. Um, but yeah, that that's that's it for the Crayola Project Metallic Markers. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't make a swatch sheet for these. Um, I don't dislike them. I just I think that. If it had a said it, better on dark paper, I would have kind of been prepared for that. Similar to, um, I have these Faber Castell metallic color pencils that say outstanding effects on dark paper. I think I would have gone into it like, oh, I already know they're not gonna be great on white paper. Whereas, you know, this is showing a white poster board. So I was assuming this was really gonna pop. Um, so that's it for the Crayola Project Metallic Markers. As always, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.